Hi guys, this is review for American Spirit cigarettes. Let's see, I'm trying to get the light. I went to my news agent today and saw behind the counter they stopped these. The damage, 9 milligrams of tar, 1 milligram of nicotine and 10 milligrams of carbon monoxide. In the UK, cigarettes normally come in a hard pack. It's really hard to get a soft pack cigarette. And these are soft pack. I think the last pack of soft, <coughs> soft pack that I smoked was Camel and Unfiltered. I do like this soft pack feel in my pocket. If you're a smoker, perhaps you get that feeling as well. They retail about £6.50 in the UK, so they're quite expensive cigarette, about the same price as Marlboro Reds, Benson's and Dunhill. Talking about Dunhill, that's going to be my next review, which I'm hoping to post on Monday. Okay, what they like, we've got the soft pack out, really good looking pack. And they do taste a bit like Marlboro, but Marlboro Reds are better than these. They're a little bit harsh, and I tried them just because they're on the shelf and the brand name American Spirit look good. But then I looked closely. At the side, which you, you can't see in the news agent, it says made with 100% chemical addictive free, that's chemical additive free whole leaf natural tobacco with their reconstituted reconstitu tobacco and processed stems. So I googled it. What on fuck is chemical additive free? And it's trying to portray it as a healthier cigarette but they're not allowed to under the law. Like you can't get addicted so quickly. They taste okay, but it's just a strange thing to put in packaging. And when you Google it, it does warn you this stuff is just as bad as the other stuff. But I don't care, I'm addicted anyway. I probably wouldn't have bought them if I'd known they're yeah, additive free. Oh, I've just noticed no additives now. Tobacco does not mean a safer cigarette, but I sort of imply it. I'm going to sit with Marlboro Blacks or Marlboro Reds. Yes, the soft pack is cool. I like the feel of it, but you can't get over the fact they're not as good.
the money went on the packaging and the design of the pack instead of the tobacco. I've more or less given up Benson's and moved on to Marlborough Blacks because they're in the UK about 70 pence cheaper which is about a dollar or 80, 80 cents if you're in the Eurozone for 20 Still on my unfiltered cigarettes, can't give them up. And I'll be posting one of them, those videos next week. If you like my feeds, subscribe to me. Thanks to everyone that subscribes. As I said, Dunhill and Rothmans are my next reviews. I was going to buy a pack of Rossmans to do a review on them, but I saw these and thought, do a bit of American spirit. One final thing is, thank God we don't have fire safety cigarettes in the EEC yet. From what I see from American reviewers, they're fucking all horrible. So, rating wise, I give it a 7 out of 10. And a packaging, a 9.5. That's about me done. Thanks for watching and stay with it guys.